Uh, I've got a AMD Ryzen 5 with 32 gigs of RAM and a 1660. And I'm getting stable 800 FPS with spikes of 900 plus. And feels pretty smooth. So yeah, a lot of people have seen, uh, I've seen on Twitter are saying that uh, they're getting mad FPS drops, so I'll show you what I did to fix that. Because I was getting like 100 FPS, so I was like getting 900 then dropping down to like 150. So I think it was happening to a lot of people. So what you want to do is just go into your config. So local app data. Click that, click local. Go to Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and game user settings. So right now I've already done it, so mine's on well read only. But I think uh, this is just a theory. Like, since a lot of people change their config and they make it to read only, after a, like a major update, I feel like the old user settings and the new like update are like clashing. Like, they're not like compatible. So what I've started doing like last season was after every update I delete this so if I was you I would delete it right now and then restart up Fortnite so yeah just go ahead do that delete this and then load up Fortnite do all your settings and then once you've done that come back to her and you want to change a few settings because I've noticed that this actually gives you a bit more fierce so turn off show grass put that to false Leave all the latency tweaks because that's your on plus boost and uh, reflex. Now all these, like these are turned on by default. Like your ray tracing, tray ray tracing quality. So just turn that to zero. What else? Um, there's a few more settings in there. Uh, make sure you turn off the auto download um, high resolutions because they're turned on automatically now in the main settings. Uh, so there was one more thing. Oh, these things, yeah. So foliage quality are like and shading quality, they're set to three automatically now. So just put those to zero, and then yeah, just save it. Then you can put it to read only. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, yeah, those are all the things that I did. So yeah, just make sure you after every update. This is what I've done now. It's just delete everything and reset it all. Yeah. All right. Hope that helps.